Alright guys, let's get this thing going. Of course, my name is Brian, uh, and this is Home Field Advantage. Bear with me, because I'm kind of congested and not feeling great, but I figured I hadn't done a video in a couple days, so I probably needed to get back on it. Let's get this thing started off uh, by talking about Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, the golden boy of boxing has retired as of April 14th. His boxing record is 39-6 with 30 of those wins coming by knockout. He competed in multiple levels of boxing. For those of you who probably don't know, he also won the only gold medal that the United States has ever won in boxing at the Olympics uh, in Barcelona in 1992. Honestly, I'm not really a big boxing fan, but what this guy did for the sport is amazing. Sad day to see him go. I grew up watching him, and he'll, the sport will miss him. And news of the NBA draft, uh, Hashim to be the center from UConn, has declared for the NBA draft. That are in the bottom of the NBA that will have a good chance at the lottery: Sacramento, the Clippers, Oklahoma City, uh, New York. Washington as a, uh, just a few if we go by the worst record it's of course Sacramento and the question is is Blake Griffin still going to go at number one when you've got a player like Hashim Thabit who's seven foot three does Blake Griffin still hold that number one overall pick uh, when that time comes and honestly in my opinion I think great teams are built around a player like the beat. Demons is the key to winning championships, and the beat brings that to the table. But you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when when the NBA draft comes around. What what goes down? Another story involving NCAA basketball and the NFL draft. Um, the Packers are actually looking at the point guard from Duke, and yes, I said that right. The point guard, as in basketball. Um, Greg Paulus, he had tons and tons of scholarship offers for football because he was a star quarterback at his school. The Packers thinking is, if he was great once, perhaps he, he still has that capability to be great. So it's just an inter I just thought it was an interesting thing to think about. As a Duke fan, when he first signed... I did a little research on him, and he's getting scholarship offers for basketball and football. Football, he was getting offers from Notre Dame um, and Miami, which right now, you know, they're not great teams, but four years ago, you, they were decent. So that was that was a big deal. But he chose, ba chose to be a basketball player. But he didn't really fan well in the college game. So basically, Green Bay is looking at this as, well, maybe he's a better football player. You know, he never really gave the college, that college experience a shot. So, <clears throat> we'll see. They're all right, guys, out. that's really all I have for right now. Um, the next video, I'll probably post it up in the next couple of days once we know the exact NBA playoff spots and matchups. And I'll let you guys know my thoughts on, on the matchups. So I guess just let me know. What do you guys think about everything we talked about today? About Hashim to be, you know, whether he should be the number one overall draft or Blake Griffin should. Um, what do you think about Greg Paulus being an NFL quarterback? And what are your thoughts on Oscar De La Hoya retiring? Do you think it's good for the sport, bad for the sport? Uh, just whatever you thought about.